Right, so it's been a very long time. I am now back. I've returned to YouTube. I know, you, to be honest, probably a lot of you are thinking like, what? who is this guy? Why is he just, he makes videos, he makes videos for a month solidly, then he goes away, then he comes back and he says, oh, I'm back to YouTube now, and then he goes away for another month. I don't know. To be honest, guys, it is kind of hard to, to keep up with a YouTube um, sort of responsibility. A lot of creators have said the same thing, right? It just, life gets in the way. You know, like you might go and you might travel for some, some time, you might have, uh, you know, there might be like relationship things, you might have personal problems going on. Like there's always, there's always stuff, you know, things that get in the way of making videos because to make a video, yes, you, it, essentially you just turn the camera on and start talking, but there is a, a quite a bit more that goes into it than just that. You have to not only find the time, you've got to make sure that there's enough space. You've got to make sure that there's no distractions. Like you've, Ideally, you want to have like no one sort of in the house. At least that's how I make videos. I like to have no one in the house so that I can focus. I'm not worrying about people hearing me uh, talking or making mistakes. I, I like to just have like this this uh, quiet time, this like one to one interaction that happens when I make videos with you for you guys. So, why am I telling you all this? Because I feel like this channel, this this channel is obviously about lucid dreaming, right? It's about dreams, psychology, that sort of thing. But there's there's a core audience who watch all of my videos, and if you're watching this, then you're probably one of that core, what, you know, a member of that core audience. You've been supporting me for you know for the last few months, for the last few years, uh, and a, a few of you have actually seen this channel go from the very start. You know, when I had sort of one, two videos. I was getting very few views and I really didn't know how to make videos. I didn't know how to talk to a camera. I didn't know how to structure things. I didn't really know how to present information to a camera and to you guys. So there's a few a few of you who have actually been with me from the start and I really do appreciate you guys. You're like the OG core audience of, uh, of How To Lucid. And uh, a lot of you have seen probably this channel go from that to where it is now, where we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Hopefully we'll get there this year. Uh, but that, I don't know, that that sort of depends on, uh, will we get there this year? I don't know. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, be one of the, the be one of the people that make that happen. Anyway, so hopefully we'll get to 100,000 subscribers, hopefully we'll continue to grow this. The thing I really want to, the elephant in the room here, okay, is that a couple of people have been saying that it seems like the content has become stale, that it seems like there's been uh, like a decline in the quality of content and in some videos it seems like I'm saying the same thing but in a different way. Now I want to just directly address this. In some cases, right, th there is no other way of answering a question than to sort of re repackage, restate certain things which are fundamental to lucid dreaming. It's just the way it is because like say if, say if someone asks a question like how do I uh, go from not knowing anything about lucid dreaming to being able to have them regularly? The answer to that question is usually the same, right? So but so what I do is I'll make a video to answer that question and I'll leave that as done, right? If someone then asks another question, which is similar to the first question, but there's a variation on it. Like for example, they might say, how do I, I, I can't lucid dream, I've tried the wild method, how do I get success, you know, what method should I, should I use? Obviously I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna answer that question because it's a different type of question but I still might reference things that I said in the first video because they're fundamental, they don't change. Like for example, say if in one video I say, right, well, what you need to do is you need to do reality checks, you need to meditate, you need to... Those things apply to everything. So yes, I might repeat myself in some cases, but I sort of have to because say if, so, say if someone watches um, video, say video one, I tell you, meditate, do reality checks, write your dreams down, and then do some other stuff, etc. right? That's video one. Say if then six months later, I make another video answering another question. If I don't mention those fundamentals in that video, there, there's a good chance that people who watch this video, video two, or, or let's say if it's like my, my 380th video or something like that, there's a good chance those people haven't seen the first video. So I sort of have to mention these basics in most of my videos. Um, obviously I try and keep it brief because I know that a lot of you uh, will have seen my other videos and so you know the basics, you know you should meditate, you know you should write your dreams down, you know you should do reality checks. These things are, are fundamental, they don't change really. But so I have to I have to sort of brush over those things fairly briefly in every video, I'm, in most videos I make. And uh, I know that can be a bit annoying, especially if you're looking for some unique or you know new content, 
but that's sort of what I have to do because there are lots of people who watch my new videos who haven't seen my previous ones and I need to make sure that they understand the fundamentals. Other, otherwise, you know, if I, if I don't mention those things, they're going to watch that video and not really get any value from it. They're going to, uh, you know, you've got to understand that most of my, uh, most of my views are from new people who maybe aren't subscribed. So say if I make a video, obviously like 10 to 20% of my subscribers, you know, my core audience will watch every video I make and they might get a bit annoyed that I might re be uh, sometimes repeating myself, you know, but the new people, the, the people that are gonna watch these videos hopefully and, and then subscribe, uh, the new audience, right? They haven't heard that stuff yet, at least from, not from me, you know, they haven't heard the fundamentals, they haven't really been introduced to that information, so I have to say it. So yeah, I hope, I hope, uh, hope that makes sense. That being said, I do always try with every video, I always try and have some sort of uh, unique angle. You know, it's never exactly the same. There's always something I'm answering, whether it's like a new product I'm reviewing, whether it's a, a new technique or something that I'm like referencing or relating to something else. I always try and give you something unique and new, as well as covering the fundamentals, which I feel are essential to mention in most videos. So I hope that makes sense. That being said, there are lots of things that, I want, that, I, that I'd like to do with this channel. Um, I thought I'd give you a small update on you know what I'm doing and how uh, what ideas I have going forward. So firstly, you will know that I've uh, I've recently launched the Lucid Dreaming app, the How to Lucid app. I, I don't think it's got an official name yet. It's just called How to Lucid, but that's doing really well. Uh, a lot of people are finding that useful. There are some updates in the works. Oh yes, there are some uh, some tweaks that I'm going to make to this. It's not just going to be set and forget, you know. Um, yeah, so there's going to be some tweaks. I'm going to have night mode. I'm going to have some other stuff. Uh, the reality check reminders will be uh, optimized. I think I covered this in another video. Did I cover this in another video? Leave a comment. I don't. I don't remember. Anyway, so that's that's a thing. The lucid dreaming app. The lucid dreaming journal, which I think I uh, I, I showed you in depth before. That is doing well. There are lots of uh, lots of good feedback on that. If you haven't picked one of these up, it's pretty cool. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but it's like um, it's a lucid dreaming journal. You can write your dreams down. It's specifically geared towards like helping you become lucid as opposed to just being fancy. Um, so there's that. There's also a few interesting, very interesting products I'm going to be reviewing. Now with review videos, I need to know what you guys think here. So if you're watching this. And if you're one of my core audience, as in if you watch most of my videos, you'll notice that I review products, right? And these are, this can be anything from supplements to courses to, uh, you know, devices, necklaces, whatever it is, something relating to dreams or dreaming or sleep. I review products, okay? Uh, and that's because I, firstly, I get sent products to review. Uh, secondly, I usually, if I like something, right, which there are lots of exciting tech and, you know, uh, dream related products, if I like something, I'll tend to make a review of it. Um, because it's just, I find it interesting. I like doing unboxing videos. I like sort of sharing. It's, it's almost like we're discovering the products together. So if you don't want to see review videos, what I can do, and this might be an option for you, uh, you know, this might be a, a preferable thing if you want to leave a comment letting me know. What I can do is I can, I can check the box that says do not notify subscribers when I post review videos. So what that means is that only people searching for that product's review will find the video. And for the core audience who don't really care about the review videos, they won't see it, they won't be notified. And that way, if you don't wanna see reviews of products, it won't annoy you, you won't get the notification saying like, new video, you get excited, and then it's, oh, it's another review video. I, I, I completely get that. Like, uh, there's a few of you who maybe don't want that sort of content, uh, and you just want informational content, tutorials, that sort of thing. Completely understand that but I need to know. So if you don't want to see review videos, okay, if you're watching this, you don't want to see review videos, leave a comment, or if you see a comment saying, I don't want to see review videos, like that comment so it gets boosted to the top, and that way I'll know uh, that my core audience doesn't want to see that, and what I'll do is I'll just, I'll still post them, but I'll make sure that they don't, it doesn't notify you, so you won't get annoyed, you won't get overloaded with notifications, and you'll only get notified when I post a non-review video, so like a tutorial you know, like a, an update or a informational how-to style video, okay? Anyway, if you do want to see review videos, I've got an exciting one coming up because this, <coughs> this is the perfect sleep pad. And what this is, is like, imagine, 
Imagine your mattress, right? But it's able to regulate its temperature throughout the night based on your body and based on the optimal temperature that it needs to be. And what that means is that, so when you, when you go to sleep, right? I'm not gonna to go too, too into depth with this because I, I'm gonna save it for the review video, right? <laughs> but when you go to sleep, your body sl slowly reduces temperature, reduces core temperature, shuts down your, you know, most of your processes uh, so that you can go, enter deep sleep and enter these deep stages of sleep as you, as you go through the night. If the temperature's too high or low, your body can't do that and you experience sleep disorders like insomnia, you know, you'll wake up, you'll maybe have interrupted dreams, that sort of thing. What the sleep pad does is it's a very clever piece of technology which allows cooled or heated water to be pumped through these tiny tubes that you sleep on so that you are always at the exact perfect temperature for sleep. Uh, it's used by athletes, it's not actually readily available I don't think at the moment, um, at least not, you know, it's not very well known at the moment, it's fairly new, but it's revolutionary, you know, athletes are using it, professional sports people. Um, typically, Typically it's used by athletes just because it's quite expensive. You know, I think it's a few hundred dollars. I can't remember the exact price, but it looks like a really interesting product and I'm gonna, I can't wait to test it out. So yeah, I've got lots of reviews that I wanna make. I'm um, just trying to think of what else. Uh, a couple of supplements I'm gonna be talking about. So there's that. Okay, there's the supplements, there's the uh, products that I'm gonna be reviewing. There's also a lot of uh, other content I want to make for this channel, like so stories, uh, dream experiences, you know, dream journal entries. Uh, what, I, what I want to do as well is I want to open the floor up to, to you guys, right? So I want you to leave long comments, really long detailed comments of your dream experiences. And what I'll do is every now and then I'll make a video where I'll read them out. You know, maybe like I'll do um, top five scariest sleep paralysis stories or top top five exciting dreams. These these things are interesting, not only to me to make, but also for you guys to hear. I think it's it's interesting to hear other people's experiences with this sort of stuff. Otherwise it's just you know, if it's just all my experiences, that you know, that might not be as interesting. I like to I like to collate and curate these different uh, experiences from different people around the world. So Starting now, I know a lot of you comment anyway, but just try and leave more detailed comments, try and leave, share your experiences. I promise I will read them. Uh, even if I don't reply to them all, I will read them. And if you post a comment on my videos, there is a big chance that I'll make a video where I share that comment or experience, you know, or where I directly answer your questions. I'm still gonna break the videos up into individual questions. Apart from this video, you know, not, usually every video has a focus or a topic which is, you know, streamlined. I'm only making a video about that topic um, as opposed to just answering everything in one video. I know a lot of channels just like to curate F F FAQs and they, they'll make a video like answering your questions and they'll just go through everyone's question and answer them, answer them in one video. I sort of like that. Um, it's useful in, in a way, but at the same time, I like to, I like to focus on one answer and then go into depth on that answer. I don't like to sort of rush my answers to your questions. So for that reason, I'm gonna still keep making, uh, you know, one video for one question or one video for one topic. Um, so yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Other news, right, so my other channels. I have started new channels. So I've got a, well, the, the, one of them is not really new. The Transcend Your Limits channel which I've always plugged on this channel. It's like a travel, uh, travel videos, travel vlogs, that sort of stuff, right? Um, for those of you who, know, who don't know, I travel for fairly often. I like to experience and explore new cultures and places. So what I, what I started doing is I just started filming my experiences. I started taking my camera and just filming like roughly what I'm doing, where I'm going. Uh, because I think it's interesting, you know, it's, I find it interesting to watch travel vlogs and videos and I think a lot of other people do as well. So that channel, has now rebranded to what is known as Transcend Travel. If you type that in, you'll see the little blue pyramid logo with the lines to it. That's my channel. It's also linked in the description. Uh, and in the if you go to my ch if you click on this channel, on the sidebar you'll see like recommended other places, other channels. It's on there as well, Transcend Travel. So that's the travel channel now. I then also made a new channel called Transcend Your Limits, which is the official main channel for Transcend Your Limits. Now, what is Transcend Your Limits? I hear you ask so diligently. Well, it's it's a mixture of everything. Okay, so on this channel I talk about lucid dreaming. In the Transcend Your Limits one, I talk about everything else. Psychology, meditation, motivation, business, passive income, travel, lifestyle, like everything else that I might want to ramble on about. 
Um, it's all covered there. Okay, so this channel, as I said, is always going to be focused on dreams and dreaming. The other channel, Transcend Your Limits, will be talking about everything, right? So if you've ever wondered, you know, something else, like what do I do in my spare time? How do I, what's my morning routine? Do I, do I meditate? How do I run my websites? You know, like what, all, all of this stuff, right? Psychology, how do I, how do I uh, control my emotions? Like all, all of these things, these sort of life, general life advice type questions and things, you can ask them all on the Transcend Your Limits channel. Now, I haven't actually posted a video on there yet, but I'm hoping to post one today, uh, which will open up the floor for your questions, leave a comment. I really appreciate if you have watched this far in the video, well, firstly, well done. You know, this is a long video. It's just a load of boring updates, really. But um, yeah, I would appreciate if you go and check out Transcend Your Limits channel. You can find it in the description or in you know my recommended channels. Leave a comment on my video when it posts, when, I, when it goes live just ask, asking a question, right? It can be about absolutely anything, right? It doesn't have to be lucid dreaming. It can be literally anything. Um, so go and check those out. The podcast, right? We're slowly getting through these things. Um, the podcast, the How to Lucid Dream, the, ha <laughs> the Lucid Dreaming podcast by How to Lucid, right? Is doing fairly well. It's on SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Libsyn, I think as well. Uh, you know these main the main places you would listen to podcasts. I think it's there. Um, it's doing well. I've had my first guest on the podcast, Anthony Mativier, who is a world renowned memory expert. He did a very interesting podcast with me there, uh, talking about all sorts of things, mainly how to remember more of your dreams, but also you know memory techniques, how to never forget somebody's name, uh, all, all of these interesting things. He we speak about that on the podcast. It's about an hour long. Uh, it's my longest podcast episode and I'm slowly getting into the hang of podcasts. You know, when I first started, just like with video, I had no idea how to do it. I didn't know how to keep the conversation flowing, especially when I, do I typically don't like to edit my things too much. So I didn't want to have to cut into the audio and edit it too much. But uh, the conversation seemed to flow fairly well. Uh, it's my first guest. I'll have many more in the future. If you have any suggestions for guests, leave a comment. Let me know who you, should, who you think I should interview or, you know, talk to have a podcast episode with and that's really that's really it for this update guys the um i just wanted to sort of share all these things and let you know how things are going there will be more videos there will be more content just uh, please please stay patient if you want to another thing I, I wanted to mention is the the lucid dreaming boot camp now if you've already heard me mention this just skip this vid this section you know go and read the comments or something or leave something funny as a, as a story the Lucid Dreaming Bootcamp is the most effective course that I've come across or created um, about for Lucid Dreaming. And the reason it's so effective is because if you think of any skill that you want to learn, right, whether it's, you know, Lucid Dreaming or, you know, how to set up a website, whatever, you, whatever the skill is that you want to learn, the most important thing is combining knowledge with action, right? Learning the information and then implementing the information. And most people get this completely backwards. They... they purely focus on learning the information or they purely focus on taking action without knowing anything and both of these approaches are, are completely wrong right you can't do so you can't learn or do something without balancing these two things you need to know what to practice and then you need to practice the thing if you don't do one or if you know if you do one without without the other nothing will happen you'll either take loads of action and get everything wrong or you won't take any action, but you'll know how to do it, which is kind of backwards as well. So the boot camp is a step-by-step -step course. It teaches you for, for 30 days exactly what to practice, how to practice it, and what to do on each on every single individual day for the 30 days. It teaches you how to lucid dream, but it also tells you exactly how and when to practice the things, so that if you follow it, okay, if you just follow the steps, if you just do what it says on each day of this calendar, you will lose a dream within two weeks, it's guaranteed. If you don't lose a dream within two weeks, you get your money back. It's, I think it's $30 at the moment. It comes with five free bonus ebooks. There's a huge amount of value here. Uh, it really is a great deal for you guys. And you know, it's got it's got lots of reviews, it's got testimonials, it's got lots of people who've been through it and, and had success. Um, it's a really effective way. If you're watching this, you just don't know how to lose a dream. Or, you know, if you in some way want to support what I'm doing, it's a great way of doing that as well. There's a huge amount of value, as I said, with the bonuses. But above all that, it's it's more effective than any ebook or course that you could buy, simply because it focuses on teaching you something and then immediately getting you to implement and practice it. 
almost nothing else does that. I've not found any other course that does that um, for lucid dreaming or actually for a lot of things. You know, this this should be like the standard for learning information. You learn something and then you're immediately forced to put it into action. If you don't do that, the information stays in your brain and eventually just goes away and you don't you don't learn the thing because you never practice the exercises, the steps, the techniques that you need to do in order to get the skill. I hope this makes sense for you guys. Anyway, um, the page explains it a bit better than I can. So go and check it out. It's howtolucid.com forward slash bootcamp, all one word, lowercase. Uh, again, there are links in the description. If you actually click on the description, you'll see like a list of useful things I've collected for you guys, uh, as well as like some binaural beats, some discounts on some supplements and things. But you will find it in the description below, you'll find a link to the bootcamp, which I really would highly recommend you go and check out. Uh, if not, then wait for the next video and I'll see you next time.